to think about this exhibition, I wanted to explore how cultural traditions from the African continent have evolved, adapted, and sustained in the diaspora. Hi, my name is Tiara Lovu, and I'm a curatorial assistant here at the Norton Museum of Art. I'm the curator of Origin Stories, Photography of Africa and its Diaspora, and this is my first exhibition here at the Norton. Pulling primarily from the Norton's collection, this exhibition showcases work by contemporary photographers who are working or living on the African continent or in the African diaspora. When I approached this exhibition, I really wanted to address the legacy of colonialism. So the inclusion of the African diaspora here is extremely important because the diaspora itself is a byproduct of colonialism. It developed as Africans were forcefully displaced from their home countries to the Americas, the Caribbean, and Europe through the global slave trade from the 16th to the 19th century. Portraying a famous warship of the same name, Yinka Shanabare's Le Meduse engages with the narrative begun by French painter Theodore Jericho in the raft of the Medusa. The ship shown here, the Meduse, set sail for Senegal in 1816 with ammunition and military personnel to re-establish French colonial rule and occupation in Senegal. However, the ship wrecked off the coast of northwestern Africa. The fabric that Shanabara uses for the sails are commonly associated with Africa. However, they are actually Dutch wax fabrics imported from Europe to West African colonies in the 19th century. In this work, Shanabari is moving beyond a visual narrative of the Medusa's demise and imbues the scene with a critique of European colonialism. There's something incredibly interesting when you think about the work in that way, because he's portraying the tragedy as it occurs, but he's also pointing to the fact that French occupation of Western Africa also resulted in tragedies. Leo Gordon produces work in Haiti that addresses the country's past as a French colony. In this series of nine portraits, Gordon reinvents a racist classification system known as the caste system. In 18th century Haiti, the caste system was used to classify citizens by their skin color, where white was superior to black. In Gordon's interpretation, she places black at the beginning of the scale while inserting a self-portrait at the end. In these works, Carrie Mae Weems pairs photography with text as she explores the African diaspora here in the United States. In the Sea Island series, Weems portrays historical homes of the Gullah community in the coastal regions of North and South Carolina, Georgia, and North Florida. In the poem that Weems includes at the bottom, she's invoking aspects of African folklore that the Gullah community still practices today. And from here I saw what happened and I cried, Weems appropriates a 19th century photograph of a man named Gordon. Gordon was enslaved in Louisiana and successfully escaped to a Union Army camp in 1863, just three months after the proclamation of emancipation. Upon arrival, doctors examined Gordon and documented his extensive keloid scars on his back as a result of whipping. In the text Weems imposes over the photograph, She's critiquing the hollow promise of change following emancipation. This work also exemplifies the lasting impact of slavery on the history of the United States. I hope that as visitors navigate this exhibition, they can reflect on the many representations of the African continent and African diaspora.